Hey there spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here and I hope you're doing well. So now that we've received confirmation that a number of buffets are still on the way back, but due to certain restrictions in Vegas, we're still suffering from an incomplete buffet experience. So I did some research to find out which buffet is going to be the best buffet in Las Vegas 2021 so far. This list, with one critical exception, will be limited specifically to the Las Vegas Strip for now, and might be expanded in the future if Station ever changes their mind. But for now, we'll just be working with the ones on good old Las Vegas Boulevard. Grab your spoon, napkin, knife, and fork, then pile up the pork. Let's get started ranking these Las Vegas buffets from best to worst. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Our official worst option for a Vegas buffet is the Excalibur Buffet. Presently, it's only open five days a week and only for brunch. More importantly, if you don't have a My Vegas comp, this one is going to set you back $30. Why is that so important? Well, mostly because you don't get many mealtime options, and historically the quality at Excalibur hasn't been much to write home about. It's cheap, sure, but there are cheaper buffets out there that offer superior, if not similar, quality, and in a much better spot on the strip. So Excalibur is actually going to be unlucky at number 7. Circus Buffet at Circus Circus is cheap. Historically, they've also been a bit of a weak buffet like Excalibur, cheap cuts of meat with low quality standards. They're also rather silly to get to, and unless you're staying up north on the strip, it's really far out of the way. And even if you are staying on the northern sector, you should be eating at Wynn or Resorts World instead. There are two advantages that Circus Buffet has over the buffet at Excalibur. One is that it's cheaper, and two, there's a brunch and a dinner option. And as a whole, most dinner buffets are superior to your average breakfast and non-champagne brunch buffet. Not good enough to get any higher on the list, but still worth considering, I suppose. This was a toss-up, really, but I think I'll be sliding the buffet at MGM Grand into this slot here. I like MGM Grand as a whole a whole lot, but the buffet isn't anything special. A benefit to it is the unlimited beer and wine with entry. Haven't taken over that position from Mirage, but the food quality without alcohol is... Well, it's superior to Circus Circus and Excalibur, at least. Not much else to say, it's mildly more expensive than the other buffets for mildly better food in Carvery. It's only open five days a week, just for brunch. If it wasn't for the unlimited alcoholic beverages, it wouldn't be this high up on the list at all. But it does, so MGM wins this round. At the halfway point on the list, Garden Buffet at South Point has undergone a tremendous transformation and really earned its spot on the list here. It's open daily, appropriately priced for different times of day, and even offers discounts based on your membership to South Point Casino. The biggest point against it is that the buffet quality is average at best, and it's a trek to get off strip there. It would have been number 5 if MGM Buffet was open for dinner, but because South Point is there for you, sun up to sundown, it takes the point in this round. Moving into the top three is Cosmo's Wicked Spoon. Historically, Cosmo has always had a great buffet, and its central location is really a credit to its case. It's open daily now, a great improvement from my last buffet video, and the pricing is relatively similar to how much it used to be. The biggest weaknesses that Wicked Spoon has are these. The first is that you can't get a reservation, which is pretty painful in this climate for a higher-end buffet and the poor staffing situation across the Vegas Strip. The other is that the buffet is only open for brunch, so the limited seating quickly becomes even more limited. Those two factors hold the buffet back to number three. Bacchanal earns the runner-up spot, having reinvented itself as a bit of a seafood-focused buffet, which is great. It looks good, is open daily, and most importantly, you can use your Diamond Rewards dinner credit to pay for it, which is pretty good because it'll set you back an easy $65 a person for admission. The reviews as a whole have been pretty good, and historically, Bacchanal has had some pretty high quality food, so it may be worth the status match. But it still doesn't quite take the number one spot for one specific reason. It's only open for dinner. Reservations definitely help, but the dinner only limited availability is still a challenge leaving Bacchanal as the silver medalist on the list. And finally, our number one spot is the Wynn Buffet. Wynn has a pretty solid combination of all the features going for it. It's relatively close to center strip, that being its biggest weakness that it has, but has high enough quality food for the trek to actually be worth it going up north. Unlike similar buffets at the Cosmo and Caesars Palace, Wynn is actually open from breakfast to dinner. It's surprising it's competitive compared to Bacchanal and Cosmo, which is just code for just as expensive. 
And while you can't get Winslot's rewards to pay for it yet, you still have the option of comping it with your Platinum card. So these factors offer the buffet a win, the narrowest of victories, and the ultimate spot in our rankings. Alright there Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Are you ready to try a Vegas buffet on your next trip? Or do you want some more options to open up before you don your lobster bib again? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out and I'm wishing you all strong hands and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva.